a young woman accepts a dinner invitation to what appears to be easy money in order to help her sickly brother. As soon as she arrives, she realizes that participating in the game is lethal for those who lose. She and several others are terrorized throughout the night in a game of Would You Rather? Warning, spoilers ahead. Iris, Brittany Snow, a young woman caring for her sick brother Rally, Logan Miller, is unable to cover the costs of his medical treatment. Dr. Barden, Lawrence Gilliard Jr., Rally's doctor, introduces Iris to Shepard Lambrick, Jeffrey Combs, a seemingly charitable aristocrat who offers her a deal. If she competes and wins in a game, his charitable foundation will pay for Rally's leukemia treatment and find him a bone marrow donor. Iris accepts grudgingly. Iris is introduced to Julian, Robin Lord Taylor, the Lambrick's son, and the remaining contestants, Lucas, Enver Jokaj, a war veteran, Linda, June Squibb, an elderly woman paralyzed in a wheelchair, Peter, Rob Wells, a gambling addict, Cal, Eddie Steeples, Amy, Sasha Gray, and Conway, John Hurd, an indebted alcoholic. When the contestants are seated and dinner is served, Iris declares herself a vegetarian and refuses to consume the meat on her plate. Shepard sees this as an opportunity to start the game and offers Iris $10,000 to eat the meat, which she accepts. Conway admits to Shepard that he is a recovering alcoholic after noticing he hasn't drunk any of the wine. Shepard gives him two options. $10,000 for a glass of wine or $50,000 for a scotch decanter. Conway accepts the $50,000 and drinks the scotch reluctantly. After dinner, the game begins, which is revealed to be a version of the popular party game Would You Rather, in which the guests must complete their choice of two undesirable options. Shepard gives his guests the option of leaving, but no one does. Shepard's butler and former special agent Bevins, Johnny Coyne, enters the room with an electric shock machine and two wired headbands. Conway tries to flee but is shot by Bevins. In round one, one of the players wearing a headband is given a buzzer with two buttons. One is a self-inflicted shock and the other is a shock delivered to the other player. The round concludes with no one eliminated after the contestants take turns making the difficult decision. The second round has begun. Iris is given the option of using an ice pick to stab someone in the thigh or whipping Travis three times with a shambok. Travis instructs Iris to whip him because stabbing would be more dangerous. Lucas decides to whip Travis for the same reason. When Travis's turn comes, he can stab Lucas or let Bevins whip him. Travis chooses to be whipped once more. The dilemma then passes to Peter, who must choose between stabbing Linda in the thigh and whipping Travis again. Peter tells Linda that they must work together because Travis will not survive another round of whipping. Linda is stabbed in the leg by Peter, who pierces a major vein, causing her to bleed profusely. Linda decides to stab Amy rather than whip Travis because she is unable to stand. Linda eventually bleeds to death. As the turn moves to Amy, she emphasizes the importance of survival, ultimately choosing to stab Iris. Cal agrees with Amy and chooses to whip Travis, resulting in Travis's elimination from the game. As the round comes to an end, the group attempts to flee. Iris manages to flee the dining room, but Cal is shot and killed, leaving the other three survivors stranded at the table. Iris tries to flee through the basement, but is stopped by Julian, who attempts to rape her. She manages to stab him in the knee with the ice pick and fight him off as a remorseful doctor, Barden arrives to save Iris. Bevins arrives before he can do so, shoots Barden in the head, and returns Iris to the table for the third round. The third round begins, in which you must choose between the known and the unknown. The known necessitates placing one's head in a barrel of water for two minutes. In the form of a card, the unknown carries an unknown fate. 
it can be deadly or relatively harmless. Peter goes first and selects the card that instructs him to light a firecracker in his hand. Peter reluctantly agrees, but when his hand is blown off, he suffers a cardiac arrest and dies. Lucas gets the turn and he is forced to slit open his eye with a razor blade. Iris chooses to take on the barrel and survives the two minutes. It is then revealed that if Iris had chosen the card, she would have had all of her teeth extracted. Amy chooses the card, but the card reveals that she must spend four minutes in the barrel rather than two. Amy drowns, primarily as a result of the start being called while she is opening her mouth to take a breath. The fourth round begins with only Iris and Lucas remaining. Iris has the option of sparing Lucas and allowing the two of them to flee empty-handed, or she can kill Lucas with a dueling pistol and take the money to save her brother's life. Lucas tries to persuade Iris to spare him and begins to explain why he entered the competition. Iris shoots Lucas in the chest, killing him as he pours out his heart and compares his family's struggles to Iris's brothers. Shepard declares Iris the winner and lets her leave with the money, adding that they have already found a donor for her brother. Iris discovers Raleigh asleep on his bed and proceeds to shower her in blood. After further investigation, she discovers that Raleigh committed suicide by overdosing on his medication. The film concludes with Iris sobbing over her brother's body and yelling, What did you do? 